So this is Whitechapel High Street and if I just come in to the right this is Old Castle Street. Uh, Old Castle Street was the, the murder site of Alice McKenzie. Alice was, um, she was known as Claypipe Alice and their murder took place on the 17th of July 1889 at least six months after the, after the murder, which has been officially acknowledged as the Ripper's last. However, there's, there's quite a lot of um, similarities with the, uh, between the Alice Mackenzie murder and the other, other murders, so many believe that she was probably Jack the Ripper's last victim. But on the night of a murder, Alice went out uh, to work with another prostitute called Moggy Check Cheeks. Uh, both both women needed to earn some money, so to be able to afford a bed for the night. Uh, nothing is known about what happened before the murder, other than the two friends were separated early. Uh, PC Andrews turned into Old Castle Street, which is we've just turned into here. And uh, under a marked barrow, we found the mutilated body of Alice Mackenzie. A throat had been opened up. Um, Basically, most of her insides were on the outside, and uh, Alice still had, had her possessions in the pocket, a clay pipe, and bits of change. Um, probably everything she owned in the world. And uh, yeah, so it wasn't she wasn't mugged or nothing like that. And and there's a lot of ripperologists who actually think she was uh, one of Jack the Rippers. You know, everyone talks about the canonical five, but in actual total, there was eleven murders. So this is Old Castle Street and this is where the Alice Mackenzie murder happened.